Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, in this session, we are going to look at identity providers. Now, identity providers allows you to uh, manage user out identities outside of AWS instead of creating IAM users in your AWS account. Now, identity providers are used to uh, log into your uh, application using uh, third party identity providers it can be uh, something like using your google account or using your facebook account or using your amazon account to log into your applications now uh, nowadays you might see uh, this option in many uh, web applications that you have where you get an option of uh, uh, login with google account or go login with facebook account or sign up with google account sign up with facebook account now in these scenarios you don't have to provide the credentials you simply click on login with google or whatever the option you have um, and give the permissions required permissions and uh, you will be able to log into the uh, applications without providing any credentials the same thing can be done with aws also that is where your identity providers are useful so this is useful if your organization already has its own identity system such as corporate directory now at a company level uh, a very commonly used one is your sso which is a single sign-on identity uh, you will be using sso credentials to log into your company applications now your external users uh, sign on through a well-known idp which is your identity provider such as login with amazon facebook or google you can give those external identities permissions to use your aws resources in your account so uh, uh, in this in this recording i'll be uh, showing you how you can use a third party application to log into your aws account so you will need to give permissions from your aws to uh, allow the third party application to uh, authenticate the uh, credentials now i am so uh, under i am you have this identity providers so i am supports idp that are compatible with open id connect or web identity federation or saml 2.0 which stands for security assertion markup language so under identity providers amazon um, uh, provides you two types one is the open id connect and the other one is your saml 2.0 now OpenID Connect is an open standard for authentication that is supported by a number of login providers. Uh, Amazon Cognito supports linking of identities with OpenID Connect providers that are configured through AWS IAM. So in AWS, we have a service known as uh, uh, Cognito. Uh, sorry. Cognito, which can be used for your OpenID uh, Connect um the other you have uh, option you have your saml so an iam saml 2.0 identity provider is an entity in iam that describes an external identity provider service that supports the saml 2.0 standard the role permits your organization's idp to request temporary security credentials for access to aws now the uh, the saml what it does is it helps you to use an external identity provider to log into the AWS account so it makes use of your SAML 2.0 standard and uh, I'll be showing you an example with this uh, SAML how you can uh, use uh, external identity to log into the AWS account so for this example we are going to use uh, jump cloud now jump cloud is a service provider a SAML service provider that helps you to integrate uh, uh, your jump cloud with AWS so you can use uh, uh, you can use account. jump cloud to log into uh -huh. your aws account for this you will need to have a uh, have an account so to create your account click on get started and uh, provide your email address now this is the email address i'm going to use click on next give your name and uh, area of interest and let's say sso then in, I'm just looking around and click on next a company name it's your choice if you want uh, provide whatever you have 0 to 10 I am in India next provide create your password now I'm going to create my password click on this and once this is done click on create account now this will create your account uh, and for this to work you will need to uh, enter the six digits that you will be receiving within your account so let me just go through my email so 
this is what I have. Once you're done creating your account, you will get this page. Now here, click on applications. Click on this plus symbol and here um, configure your application. Now we are creating this for AWS, so simply search AWS and you should be able to see this. Configure, give a name, so this is AWS SAML and click on activate. Continue and it should be done. Once you're done with this, click on this and you will see this option export metadata. Download that. Now you will be needing this within your AWS account. Once you're done, uh, that's all for now. That's all you have to do uh, here. Uh, we'll, we'll come back to this in some time. Now go back to your IAM console. Click on identity providers. Click on create provider and here you will see the two options. Now this is an example for SAML. Give a name. Now I am using Chum Cloud and upload the metadata that you have downloaded from here. So whatever the metadata you have downloaded, click on choose file and I have it in my downloads and click on next step, create. Now this will create the identity provider. Now once you're done with this, you will need to create a role that will be used by the Jump Cloud to provide the access. So for this, go to roles, click on create role and here click on SAML 2.0 Federation. And when you click on this, you should be able to see the identity provider that we created previously. Click on this, click on allow programmatic and management console access. Next step is your permissions. So what permissions you want to give to this identity provider. So let's say we will give S3 full access, tags, optional review. So this is my role for, let's say, uh, jump cloud and we will give the description and create role. Now here my role is created. So this is my role. Once you're done with this, go back to Jump Cloud and here you just scroll down a bit and click on single sign on configuration. And here under this constant attributes, you will need to fill in few um, uh, entries. One, you will have to give the, uh, so delete whatever you have here, go back to IAM, click on your roles select your role and copy this ARN, paste it, comma, go back to IAM, click on identity providers, select your identity provider, copy this ARN and paste it after the comma. Click on save, then go back to users, click on plus symbol, manual user entry, give a name so this is my cloud techies my username is let's say this my company name is going to be this scroll down set your password so i want an initial password so let's set a password for this then you will find this custom attributes click on this click on add new custom attributes under the attribute name give the role name that we have created so the role name is this I will copy this I'll paste under the value again you will need to give the role ARN and the identity provider ARN so paste comma go back identity provider select copy the ARN and paste it after the comma click on save user once you're done with this go back to policy uh, groups sorry click on plus
create group of users give one name so this is aws saml click on users you should be able to see the user that we have created click on applications and you should be able to see the application that we have created and click on save group that's all you will have to do to uh, configure the um, saml setup for your aws account now how do you log in to the aws account using this jump cloud now to get the url for the login click on this applications click on this and here when you scroll down a bit click on single sign on configuration and you should be able to see this url copy this hit the url and you should see the login page now here give your email address and whatever password you have set click on sso login if everything is correct you should be logged in to the aws account using the jump cloud now if you remember for this we have given access only for s3 so if you try to access any other services it will not work because this role whatever you have created you have given access only to access the s3 service so iam you can see it says not authorized ec2 you will see dash 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 meaning you don't have access so uh, in this case jump cloud is my identity provider to log into my aws account so this is how your identity provider works similarly you have the open id uh, connect um, that amazon uh, supports as part of the identity provider that's all for this video i will see you in the next video thank you